Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, I wanted to let you know, I talk to Jesus every day. Johnny Cash wrote this line in a song of his that I've actually only heard all the way through once in my life, but I remember this line. I talk to Jesus every day. No secretary tells me he's been called away. And I heard that song as I sat on the floor listening to a new friend strum her guitar. We were the youngest attendees at a retreat and we naturally gravitated to each other. Neither of us could sleep that particular night and so we wandered down to an uninhabited section of the retreat center just to chat. After a brief time of quiet worship, Diane stopped. She felt compelled to tell her life story and I felt just as compelled to listen. I believe that the Holy Spirit was creating a safe place. Diane told me her story and it was a sad one. Diane was raised by a very loving and caring grandmother who suffered from severe diabetes and heart disease. Child welfare workers tried their very best to keep this little family together, but the grandmother's health continued to fail and they had no other option. At the age of 14, Diane was placed in foster care. At the age of 15, Diane found herself in an abusive group home. She ended up on the streets, and at 19, when I met her, she appeared much older than those 19 years. Social workers, once she was on the street, promised her sanctuary, but failed to keep those promises. When life-threatening crises arose, she made desperate calls to her assigned workers, only to be greeted by answering machines. Often those calls would not be returned. She was truly alone. But even as Diane was talking with me, she spoke with an assurance that she was going to be okay. She also spoke with that heart that anybody can recognize, a heart that knows that they are truly loved. At the age of 17, Diane had a brief encounter with a Christian youth worker who told her about the life-saving and transforming power of a relationship with Jesus Christ. Diane cautiously began to explore the possibility of a God who demanded nothing of her beyond her heart. That God would never abandon her. It sounded a little too good to be true. God managed to persuade that frightened girl to give him a chance, and Diane gave him permission to join her in the bunker she had built around her heart, and those walls were thick. Jesus and her camped there for some time as Diane learned to trust that all his promises were yes and amen. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. Eventually, with the help of her newfound friend, Diane found the courage she needed and stepped beyond those cynical walls and into her future. When I met her, she was in college thanks to scholarships and grants that she had to work hard to achieve. After sharing her story, Diane picked up her guitar and was again playing the song. But she looked me directly in the eye and said, you know, Catherine, Jesus won't forsake you either. He won't betray your trust and he'll never walk away. I hadn't said a word that night but I had come from a pretty traumatic background myself. I didn't face the same circumstances that she did, but yes, there was a lot of trauma and I had pretty thick walls. But Diane's testimony planted a thirst for intimacy with God in my heart that I carry right now. Perhaps Diane's testimony is creating in you a hunger for that 
intimacy. Like, why don't you take her example? You begin today to explore the possibility of a God who demands nothing of you beyond your heart. Begin to explore the possibility that this God will never abandon you. Think about this. He is good and everything he says is true. Give God the permission to persuade your heart to give him a chance. If you've got some pretty thick walls, invite him to join you behind those walls. If you need to camp there until you feel safe, that's okay too. Eventually, with the help of your newfound friend, you will find the courage that you need to step out beyond those walls and into freedom.